Hey guys, Trevor Crisley here today, and we're back with Fruit Basket episode 10. Fans screw me over again, delaying the episode because of the broadcasting. So, a bit late with this one. So yeah, last episode we got a lot, lot, no, lot, a lot more about Yuki. We got the illness and we was introduced to a new character who's got like a little split personality. So it was overall just a fun episode with the running and stuff. It was nice to know a bit more about Yuki, um, sort of his loneliness as growing up, which is pretty cool to add on. And it makes up quite a way, um, and it adds to the fact that he was lonely as a child, and then when he finally did make friends with some more human kids, they all got the memory right wiped, so no wonder he's quite a quiet, quiet guy, which was pretty cool to learn about him. I did like the new guy, quite, quite pretty chilled, very violent towards Keo, but that was also pretty fun to dive into as well. But other than that, guys, let's just jump into this episode, because I'm excited. So remember, please like and subscribe if you enjoy. I do the other seasonal anime. I'm going to do the summer seasonal anime too soon. And I do this every week. Attention to her own. Allow me to present Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, God. Wow. Man, that's wow. low, even for those cuckoos. You. Mate, so why is Kyo so angry? Hey. Let's fight. No. His waves. He's conflicted about something. Well, it's got nothing to do with Ooh, us. Oh, is it to do with... Toru. Just as long as he doesn't cause trouble for our group. <laughs> no way. Good enough for me. They will be his. No, Gail, it's gone, man. Really terrifying this time of year. They look like a Kion Kion. Uh. Here, I brought these for you. Kion Kion. How Kion. dare you speak his name like that? Yuki's not the only one. Kion Kion. Co care. Way to go, Kion Kion. Yeah, man. I'm like <laughs> super <laughs> jealous. Kion Kion. It's today, Valentine's Day. Right. I'll go on a trip. What the fuck happened to Kyo on Valentine's Day? I'll see you suckers later. <laughs> Don't know where you think you're going, but your desk is over there. Hello, Milfy teacher. Just let me go, Who are you? Hag. What's that? Sounds like I've got a student who's in need of an attitude adjustment. Ooh. Maybe. Of course, <laughs> I forgot about violent Gil. Fuck. No wonder he's so fucking stressed. Run, Kyo, run! This is why I say he weren't safe. Oh. <laughs> I've totally forgot that she existed. Toru, you're not helping. I'm not going. There's no way. That's where you're wrong. Fucking hell. I said no way, damn it! Why should I have to go out on some dumb Valentine's Day? I'm with you. Oof. That was cruel. You always have to be so hateful. Please just make it stop. This is cute and all, but perhaps you You've just beaten up or she cries. You can't win. Shut really. up! Hold on, I have a great idea. Oh, god damn it. Double you. date. Fuck sake, and now that he's sure gonna cave. Fine, whatever. Fucking face. I love how he instantly Please caved. Oh, I feel for Kyo. I don't like all. it. She just beats him up for no reason. Know him? Don't make me puke. I hate his guts and I always will. All of you should just accept that. How dare you hate him? You know, it almost sounds like you feel obligated to hate him. What's wrong? Are you scared Ooh. of what might happen? Why is dog? actually got to know him? <laughs> Ooh, what happened there? You wait. I know when it gives you a little bit of fast, it's like, ooh, I want no more. <laughs> Toru, the king of being nosy. Kyo? What happened back there? Forget it. It has nothing to do with you. Let you it will go. open up at some point. Maybe a bit too soon. It's okay ooh. if you don't like Ooh. I can see it. Plain as day. You have a plum right there on your back. Soma is great, but the thing is, so are you. The ship! Oh. Well. They have both clearly been through a lot. Hopefully they... So they are, At least they don't open up all straight away. Like, we're going through the time okay. period for, for quite a bit of time before they slowly like, open up. I guess up I can more. live with it. It's... Way. That's what they did for me. Aww. More than anything, that's a nice noble I goal there. To be happy too. I feel like something's gonna get thrown in the works at some point. Wrench in the works. Go, you kids enjoy yourselves. What fun! I want to know a lot more like about him. Date. Like I really like his character. Oh, it's just like the chilled laid back dude, but there's something more about him. Don't be a cheapskate. No split. I wasn't planning to eat them. Oh no! 
<laughs> he was too. No, it's fine. He'll do it. You just stay away from the estate. But why? Ooh. Little does he know she's already been there. No. <laughs> just like that little side bubble there. Cause I... You just leave the chocolates to me. Enjoy your. Okay. He is like the hero dad figure. Hey, if we're going, let's go. Right, coming. Thanks a lot. We'll see you when we Can get Remind back. him of something. Sure. We'll be. Now get out of here. Oh, what's over? Not many people know what's going on inside his head. He's a mystery to most everyone but Hattori. And that's why I like him. You know, Want to know more about him? Somebody said he's like a ripple on the man you can never quite catch. But they have like an episode dedicated to him later. If you ask me, he's the jellyfish waiting to sting you. <laughs> Yun-chan, Toru! We're going to miss the beginning of the movie if we don't hurry. <laughs> is Kyo going to survive this day? I feel like this is going to be the end of his uh, his life, his young life. Why are they getting emotional? That was interesting. I can imagine her influencing them. She has the most uncanny liar. You and Nakito both. She's a pawn you two are using in some kind of elaborate game. Don't even think about pretending otherwise. Do you remember that morning? The dream? We all woke from it crying. You, me, Aya. For you two, it became something twisted and painful. But for me, those feelings still linger, unfaded. That affection, that passion, so thrillingly sweet and sad. I don't want it to end. I want it to last forever. I want to give it form and make it mine. I will. All these years, and that vow is still right here. If I have to lie, or manipulate a few people along the way, then so be it. Ooh. It's a small price to pay, even if someone gets hurt. I do feel... Pardon me. Doctor, it's time for Akito's checkup. Ooh, I know. Why don't I fill in for you? I promise I'll be very thorough. Saw that one coming. Look, adds Tell depth to his character. That's thank a good you conversation. For the chocolates when you get home. Sure, sure. Whatever outcome you're aiming for, all, I will get what I want. No matter what lies I have to tell. Or who I have to use, I'll make that dream eternal. So I, don't, I don't fully understand. I don't know if I'm meant to fully understand what his dream is. Well, I'm sure we'll find out more. With Mokutai, the true emperor. No, nothing matters. Oh, it's the right off the phone. It's over. I'm ready to end my worthless existence. Can I escalate it quick? To die, could you maybe not do it? I want them to be perfect for you. <laughs> Took at the heart. If I don't die, I'd probably kill myself. Sensei, will you please try to take your work more seriously? Don't you care about it? My work? Not that much, really. Certainly not more than myself. <laughs> Just think about how much happier you'll be when your men are scripted and I leave you alone. Okay. Next time, I'm definitely, definitely not going to let you get away. I'll follow you to the end of the earth if I have to. Now that's a scary prospect. Catch me if you can. Boom, boom. Dee, 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 dee. So we got to be a bit more about cigarette. Um, see, I can't tell. Like, it looks like he has like a darker side to him, which I enjoy. That like I like the aspect that he probably has a bit more of a dark side because obviously the keep nailing on is quite manipulative. So Shiga is quite scheming, as we're learning in this episode. We've got to learn a bit more about him. I think it was more of his character-focused episode, actually. He sort of skimmed over the date thing. and that. Lot. So we just got to learn a bit more about his. And he seems to have like a darker side, darker scheming side that we're going to dive into and draw into the show. Which makes him way more interesting, because he comes across as that laid-book nice guy. And if he's got a bit more going on in the background, that'd be pretty interesting. 
I don't think it's going to be nothing big. I think it's just they keep going on about this curse. So I'm guessing he's trying to use Toru to break that. I'm quite curious what the curse is. Is it the hugging or is it the family thing? I'm sure we'll learn a bit more later on um, and how they're going to break it. Um, yeah, I can't tell if he's loyal to that woman or he doesn't like her. I can't really tell. I'm sure we're going to learn as we go on. But no, it's quite nice to dive into him a bit more, get to know a bit more about him. I'm just interested to see where they're going to take his character. It could take it in quite a nice route where he could be turned out to be the villain, or boy, he could be like the scheming darker, but he's not actually a bad guy. He's just like got his scheming ways, which would be pretty, pretty interesting. Apart from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Hope to see you next week.